Um, you know, the American Review Award has been so special for me because um, when I took over the film festival 13 years ago, it was the award that, that we first established and it is supposed to be given to an artist who has made an impact on cinema. Um, and to say that Mark Ruffalo and Michael Keaton and the beautiful Rachel McAdams have made an impact in, in cinema is, 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 is an understatement. Um, each of these actors has, has had such an influence that on any other year we could devote an entire night to each of them. And, and I'm especially grateful to you, Michael, to this is the second year in a row that Michael is, is And it's because last year he was the lead actor in Birdman, which was, you know, <laughs> such a powerful film and he won the Oscar for Best Picture and now he's, you know, in spotlight. So, you know, I, keep doing this, Michael. Every year just keep being the lead in, um, in an Oscar nominated film and we'll, you, you'll end up here. Um, but the work of, of Mark and, and Michael and Rachel McAdams together as the ensemble of Spotlight is it's a remarkable achievement and, and it merits being celebrated. Um, we were not the only ones with the idea of doing this. Last Saturday, the Screen Actors Guild gave them the SAG Award for Best Ensemble of the Year. Michael Keaton, Rachel McAdams, Mark Ruffalo have always brought an incredible amount of integrity to every role they have done. They all share this down-to-earthiness quality that I love in their performances and in whatever the circumstances where they're playing superheroes or they're playing journalists or whatever role they play, um, they come across as believable and sensible. Um, this is the, and, and, and those qualities are best displayed in Spotlight. Um, Tom McCarthy, who's here in the audience, Tom McCarthy, the writer, co-writer, director of Spotlight, nominated for Best Director, Oscar. Um, Tom, your film is a wonder. Um, is, 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 is one of the best films about seeking justice. Um, I have ever seen, and it's, it's, one, it's, it's, it's one of the best. Um, a, film, a film that celebrates good old-fashioned journalism, but at the same time strips away the darkness from the terrible events of child abuse by priests in Boston, and not just Boston, but, but all over the world. Movies, movies can entertain and challenge us, and Movies can get us outside our comfort zone. Movies can enrich our lives. Movies can illuminate our past. And movies can help us feel vindicated. And, um, and most importantly, film can help us not to feel alone because we're all in the dark experiencing um, the same emotions and the same uh, things that are being projected in, on, in, in the screen. And what's amazing about Spotlight to me is that it's more than just a film. It's a cry, it's a cry of, 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 of victory, is, is a vindication, is a poem, is, is more, more than just a film. Calling it a film is not fair is to me music is, is, is it's, it's a liberation. Um, I, it was just reported that in an unprecedented move, the Vatican last night screened the film Spotlight for the, for, for the members. <laughs> it screened Spotlight for the members of the Vatican Commission on Clerical Sex Abuse. The film is reaching those who need to see it all over the world. And it affects, and its effect, 
has only just started to be felt. Michael, Mark, Rachel, and you too, Tom. I speak for all of us survivors when I say thank you for making Spotlight. Um, um, it's, 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 it's an incredible honor. It's an incredible um, uh, you know, day of celebration you know, for, for, for all of us. And, and I can't wait to talk to, to both of you, Rachel and Michael, 